another pollinator. Getting in before the bloom is fully bloomed. I can't tell if it's a honeybee or a bumblebee yet. There's a robin that's very cross with the uh, Inca. There must be a nest very close to here. Yeah, I think that robin's very cross. Here's the pollinator. I can't tell what kind of bee that is. It's some sort of bee pollinator anyway. It's not a honeybee. Maybe it's a pollinating fly. Very cross robin. That flower hasn't even opened yet. This honeybee is going to try and get in there to get the pollen before anybody else does. Working very hard at it too. <coughs> squeeze right up inside. The bee is in there getting its pollen before anybody else does. Before the flowers even fully bloomed. Let's see. Is it going to come out? I'm sitting at an awkward angle so sorry about the shakes. Because it's not easy. But it's very busy in there, this honeybee. There it is. Getting every last little bit of pollen it can from this flower that hasn't even bloomed yet or fully opened. I'm gonna let it go. Now, this bumblebee is working on getting dry matter from the year before. She's peeling it. And this is what she's gonna build her underground nest from. So she's not feeding here. She's getting building matter from this stem. Whoops. classic pock marks of a dung beetle in these holes right there. So flip it over. And there's a dung beetle there. Right there. There's another copper one. There's two different ones right there. And oh these copper ones are really really beautiful actually. They've got an incredible shininess to them. They're all running away. This one is not such a bright copper. It's more of a dull copper, this one here. Here is reversing. That's bigger than the little shiny button copper ones. So, oh look, right there. Let's see if I can get this right. There, you can see the copper right there of the real shiny copper one. There it is. There are 
they're really pretty, a really pretty copper. There's another one that just fell off. Then there's a, a, a third one that I've been coming across that's a really tiny black one. That's not one of them. That's one of the really common ones. We have loads of those ones, loads of that one. I don't know the names of any of these dung beetles, but that's the one we are the most common, that and the little copper ones. But there's some tiny little black ones as well. So using this little piece of bark to fish around in a little dung pat, thanks to the sheep.